Hey guys, happy Friday. I hope everybody is doing well today. Uh, because it's Friday, we are going to take a look at another piece of hardware. And today we're going to take a look at a Raspberry Pi case from a company called Anadias. I think that's how it's pronounced. I'm probably butchering it. Who knows? Uh, I'll put it up on the screen so you can see it. Um, anyway, they uh, contacted me a couple of weeks ago and asked me to take a look at their Raspberry Pi case. Uh, this is something that apparently they've spent some time engineering to try to get the best thermals that they possibly can out of an, an aluminum case. And so I, I spent some time with it. I put it all together. Uh, the unboxing experience was actually kind of nice. Everything uh, was was very clear as far as where it went, what its purpose was. Uh, putting it together and getting the Raspberry Pi in really only took me uh, probably five minutes or so, um, which actually uh, wasn't too bad. I didn't even need the instructions or any of that. It all just kind of made sense in the way that it all went together. Um, and I can say that once it's together, I think it looks and feels really, really nice. It's got a bit of heft to it. Uh, the one thing that I will say about the, the installation process is it does come with thermal pads. Uh, there are two different sizes. One of them is quite a bit thinner than the other two, and that one is for this CPU, whereas the thicker are for the, so the, the thicker pads are for the other chips that are on are on the board. So you wanna make sure you get the right pads in the right spots to make sure you get the best thermal conductivity that you possibly can out of this device. Once I got it all together, uh, I immediately started doing some stress testing on it. Uh, I did, uh, I did one test, uh, just standard stock the way it came. I also did, did another test uh, with uh, a, a Raspberry Pi fan that I got from Kanakit. Uh, the, the variance in temperature was only a couple of degrees, but then I decided to go ahead and test it against some other cases that I had laying around. The first case that I tested against was the aluminum kind of generic case that came with uh, the Ansel uh, setup that I got here a couple of weeks ago. And the Ansel case did, I mean, okay, still hit low 60s, uh, but it's all passively cooled. Uh, then I also tested it against uh, a Canakit case uh, with a fan. And even with the Canakit case having the fan and the heat sinks and all that kind of stuff, it, it still hit low 60s as well. And what really surprised me about uh, about this Anadias case is it never went above about 55 degrees being passively cooled. That's no fans at all. Still kept in the 50s while putting it through just a rigorous stress test. I uh, used the same test on all of them. I also made sure to get the latest firmware installed on my device, on, on the two devices that I tested. I did have to use two separate devices because I needed something with the fins on it for the Raspberry Pi case. They're both Raspberry Pi 4s, just one with uh, the, um, the heat sinks and one without. Uh, so overall, I'm really stoked about uh, the overall efficacy of the thermal dissipation from this Anadias case. It actually does way better than I anticipated. Uh, also, just for giggles, uh, I just took a bare board, uh, no heat sinks, no fans, no, no anything, and ran that test. And it hit about 80 degrees in less than five minutes. Uh, so overall, of course, you wanna make sure that you've got some kind of cooling going on with your Raspberry Pis. Um, and I will say that the Anadias case really did impress me. Uh, the one thing um, that, that I think they could work on a little bit that they're fully aware of is the fact that their cases are kind of expensive, uh, between 40 and 50 bucks for these cases. Um, but overall, uh, if, you're, if you're looking for a sleek, elegant case that looks good um, and really does a great job of dissipating heat, the Anadias case is a great way to go. So I guess that pretty much covers everything I wanted to cover in this video. Uh, it's a great looking case. It works really well. It does its job as they said it would, uh, which really impressed me. So if you want to pick one of these up, I will have an Amazon affiliate link in the description down below. Again, they're like 40 or 50 bucks. Uh, so kind of weigh that with your purchasing decision. Uh, but just know it is a good, solid case for your Raspberry Pi 4. Um, but I guess I'm going to go ahead and wrap things up here. As always, thanks for your time. I always appreciate your support. And I'll talk to you in the next video.